breaking news. Republican donor Tony Lazaro will be detained until his trial. He was asking a federal judge to release him to his condo in Minneapolis instead of sending him back to the Sherburne County Jail. But because of the nature of the crime, the judge says that she is not releasing him. Lazaro is facing charges for sex trafficking of minors. Theo Keith has the very latest. Federal Judge Hildy Baubier made that ruling after a marathon, four hour hearing, and she cited the nature of the charges against Tony Lazaro as her justification. Lazaro entered in an orange jail uniform and immediately pleaded not guilty to all of the charges. His attorney asked to release Lazaro from the Sherburne County Jail, where he's been since August 12th, back to his luxury downtown Minneapolis high rise condo arguing he's not a flight risk because he would have already fled given his wealth. Prosecutors, though, said that would be a prison of privilege. One prosecutor read a series of statements from victims' families arguing for detention. A Minneapolis police officer who investigated this case described a conspiracy where Lazaro was the sex buyer and 19-year-old alleged co-conspirator Gisela Medina was his recruiter. That cop says Medina would find 15 to 17 year old girls on social media and present them to Lazaro. Lazaro then gave one victim a Prada purse. Others got a cell phone, cash, makeup, jewelry, alcohol, and vape pens. After Lazaro's condo was raided in December 2020, Lazaro tried to buy off two alleged victims from speaking, according to the Minneapolis investigator, telling one 15 year old alleged victim, I'm sorry, don't say anything and trying to get a 16-year-old to sign a non-disparagement agreement. Lazaro had asked the judge to release him and allow him to install two additional cameras in his condo, adding to the four that already exist, and put him on ankle GPS monitoring. But the judge, again, didn't buy it, ordering that Lazaro be detained until his trial. No answer yet as to when that trial might start, there's going to be a pretrial motion hearing in October. From the federal courthouse in downtown St. Paul, Theo Keith, Fox 9.